up like this in resistance, but then I go to this place where I say, it's a whatever it takes and I've got to break through this, so I'm going to fight and I'm just going to persist. It's interesting, persistence, resistance. Hmm. Persistence is acting in the face of resistance constantly, continuously. It's what creates results. It's what creates massive results. People who are persistent, they're not persistent because that's just who they are necessarily. They're persistent because they really understand what it means to act in the face of not feeling like it. When you think about it, how often do you do something or not do something based on how you feel? Do I feel like doing it, not feel like doing it? Persistence is taking that higher level commitment and saying, I will do this thing, I will take action to get one step closer to my goal, whether or not I feel like it. It's the concept of being all in. Who can tell me what that means? What does it mean in a game to go all in? What do you have to do? So, so put all of your chips in. So on one hand, right, on one hand, you take all of your chips and you put them in. And what are you betting on? You're, you're, you're betting on yourself. You're betting on the fact that you're going to win because if you don't, if you don't win that hand, what happens? You're out. You're out, you're out, you're out. You can't reach in and grab more money and say, oh, I want to get back in. I made a mistake. No, you're out. So it's like, I'm all in. I'm putting everything behind this. I'm not holding anything back. You can't hold anything back. So when you think about how you participate today, I'm not your typical keynote speaker where I do all the talking. I'm actually going to ask you to contribute as well in your thinking. And also, I'm going to have you contribute out loud. So you can do this um, many different ways. You can either contribute just by being here physically. You could just be here and you could just listen. And that's one way of doing it. Or you could go to the other extreme and you could be all in. Alignment. You think about, <laughs> we do entire day-long sessions with companies just on alignment. Like the, literally the same page session where we'll take an entire executive team and put them in a room and we don't let them out until they get on the same page. When you think about that, with your committees, if you're not aligned, if you're not on the same page, if you're not rowing in the same direction toward the goal. The thing about languages, the thing about languages, the reason that you didn't all raise your hand and say, yes, I'm fluent, is because you didn't get enough practice. So the DISC, the beautiful thing about the DISC language is that we speak it every single day with each other. However, just because we speak it doesn't mean we're doing it intentionally. And this is what I want to convey to you today. I want you to become aware and intentional about the fact that you have a certain style that you convey to other people and that everyone around you has their own style as well. And that it may not be, and it probably won't be, the same as your style.